uh, the session being given to me now is this uh, cabinet deliberations. And uh, I understand that all of you have this uh, policy guideline, freedom of information policy, the draft copy. I, I, I am a, a member of the committee. I will restrict my, my presentation to this cabinet deliberations. So, and I, I understand that I'm being given 15 minutes plus. Well, I can take care of the whole afternoon. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yes, it's a, in your uh, uh, booklet, this is section 4.5, on page 14 and, uh, and uh, 16, and there, there, there are handouts being given out. Let me start off by what the, our cabinet manual says. When the present government came in, 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 in the place, they adopted this cabinet manual. It is a manual that guides their del deliberations and the proceedings of cabinet. One goes in, one goes out, and who should chair what, what committees shall be formed, and, and, and place where they meet. And, and this cabinet manual covers all those. And <coughs> And uh, 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 we've been following some of the New Zealand and Australian, well, that's, that's the Australian, where our consultants come from, a bit more of the New Zealand one. The emphasis is more on the confidentiality of cabinet discussions and papers. And let me start with the cabinet discussions. And uh, 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 we emphasize that cabinet is a forum for free and candid discussions by New Ministers, when they come to Cabinet, they, 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 are, they are free and they can uh, discuss issues uh, openly, frankly, candidly, because it is a confidential uh, 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 chamber, the Cabinet chamber. We don't broadcast them, don't broadcast them alive. And I'm there to, 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 to take records of their uh, deliberations only on the resolution. Any of them make a joke or anything? I don't think. Both of them. <laughs> and and, 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 and uh, when the uh, uh, discussions are free like that, uh, it, it is more active. New ideas come up. Uh, and uh, so they have that uh, free flow of information because it is a confidential discussion. In the papers, all cabinet papers are confidential unless decided by cabinet. And ministers and also officials, you CEOs and your staff, uh, are required to handle cabinet documents uh, confidentially. So you keep, should keep it safely in some locked storage and uh, not to be fallen out of hand. And, and, not, and, and what I like to remind you is not only the, the ministers who has this responsibility, so also CEOs and new staff who draft up the papers and receive them back afterwards, especially the, 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 the personal assistance of ministers. And, and, the, and the next point here I would like to emphasize is presenting cabinet decision to the public. It is the Prime Minister, according to the Cabinet Manual, who is responsible for presenting the Cabinet positions in public. He is the one who come out in the radio and the TV, publicly uh, inform the, the, the people of resolutions, decisions made by Cabinet. And Cabinet may also agree for certain ministers or a CEO to, 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 to make that uh, public release. And there are press statements and other publicities to be made. Uh, in the development of the cabinet manual, uh, 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 
cabinet made this decision, uh, that, that the cabinet decisions uh, uh, may be released to the public provided that they meet certain criteria. And there are three simple criteria that they have to meet before they release the cabinet decisions outside of cabinet to the public. Firstly, it will not have substantial adverse effects if released if, if there are problems with it in releasing it. Don't release it. Will not be released if it would or could reasonably expect it to cause any harm. If releasing of the cabinet decision will do any harm to the public or to cabinet or to government, don't release it. And thirdly, its release is not in the public interest. Uh, 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 the, the official secret oath is very much along this line, public interest. If it is the public interest, interest not to be released, no, don't, don't release it. And uh, those three criteria are pretty important. And at the same time, <coughs> there are these considerations that should be taken into account, simple considerations. And I think they are also contained in your book of, uh, on exceptions. You should take into consideration before you consider releasing any cabinet decisions all these international relations that Tom has got. If it offends, your, your, your nearby country, another country may affect the, 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 the diplomatic relation between Tom and another country, don't release it. Uh, for example, between Tom and Fiji or Minerva Reef. <laughs> it, took, it took us quite some time and to uh, uh, wisely work out a wording that will not offend Fiji. We had to meet up Fiji, the Fiji government soon after to explain things to them and to keep the good relation between Tom and Fiji. Secondly, the defense of the, of the royal family, the king and the members of the royal family, we need to take good care of that. Next one is national security. We have read it in the booklet already. And the, what the police are doing on law enforcement and public safety is also important. The government operational security, and so also financial and property interest of government, especially things to do with uh, the procurement, if it's still being processed, or the information that comes in doesn't, is not necessary to be released, don't release it. Some more considerations to be taken into account uh, are there are information that are obtained by government put into cabinet, uh, uh, they were sending in confidence about a certain business, a certain organization, a certain country, person, uh, we need to take good consideration of them. And also scientific and commercial research, for example, these uh, three companies who are doing a, a deep sea mining here in Tonga, they are uh, uh, scientific and commercial information we submit to cabinet for the consideration of extending their licenses, government cabinet is to keep them confidential. So also what comes in with the cabinet submissions and the discussion. Personal information are also important. Uh, there are people considered for certain positions. There are personal information about them. And they were sent in in confidence, so keep them, keep them confidential. Another important one are companies and the commercial sensitive information, legal professional privileges, and information uh, that, that if you release them in contravenes the law, don't release them. And uh, when submissions are made to cabinet, uh, 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 the one who draft up prepared the submission should put, put in, in the submission uh, the, the, the uh, 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 to state whether the decision should be released to the public or not. Well, a, a lot of cabinet submissions doesn't include it, but include this provision, but it is important for those of you who draft up, prepare cabinet submissions to say if it should be released to the public or not. Let me come to the document that we are reviewing today. Uh, section 4.5, pages 14 and 16. Uh, cabinet deliberations are 
one of those exceptions. Before, before the cabinet decision, determination should be made about whether any, any information can be released that will not harm the cabinet decision making process and or would it be in the public interest to release before any final cabinet decision. If, before a cabinet makes a, a, a decision, uh, is it wise to release the information about the submission or not? And, uh, 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 there, there, there are some of them that, that uh, after careful determination, it's all right to release them, but there are some before a decision is made, it's better to keep them confidential. A decision may come up to be differently, completely different from what you what, was rec what is recommended, what you feel it would be the outcome. The decision may come up completely different. And what happens today and what happens tomorrow, there may be new information that may come up. So some of those decisions, before they are made, it's, it's important not to, not to release them, but keep them in confidential. At the same time, there are processes uh, which is important to inform the public that there are works being done process in place to have something complete. In the booklet, again, it is something they say shortly after a cabinet decision is made. The Prime Minister or the Minister or myself should determine what information about the decision can be released or put them in a the government website. Uh, uh, there are guidelines also, we have it ourselves, basically it's the same guideline we have been uh, looking at earlier in the previous uh, 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 slides, shortly after. And from time to time, this routine, there should be an assessment by the Cabinet Secretary as to whether the risk to the public interest has decreased due to the passage of time or changed circumstances so that previously accepted Cabinet information can be available to the public passage of a time, something should be changed, or perhaps by then we have more information about the case. And we can have information released. So we are required in this workshop to consider those exemptions, and when you come to cabinet deliberations, there are those three bullet points, before, shortly after, from time to time. I, 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 I think the, the slides that I have uh, earlier on are the guidelines for those three points. And uh, I, I, I don't see any problem <laughs> with those three bullet points. Well, the wording can be slightly amended, uh, but, but the key thing is the public interest. If it is for the government interest, the public interest, there are a lot of cases in the recent past that we can use those, the, 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 the test. But the, we, I mean, I'm talking about the committee now that they come up with this, we believe uh, uh, that the uh, things, this is an evolving practice, and over time, the frequency and amount of cabinet decisions uh, uh, to, uh, uh, released to the public will keep increasing, increasing over time. Hello, our people, if you have any questions, I'm here. Sorry if I've gone past my 15 minutes. <laughs>